Guys, it was all more traumatic, erotic, narcoleptic, metropolitan, panoramic experience in <laughs> my life. Shh, we're recording, we're recording. Fuck. Hello, and welcome to episode two of Hush Chat, uh, a podcast with the tagline that I don't remember what I said last time, so uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, today, uh, I'm Clay Gibson, and I'm joined by... Hi, I'm Will Vincent. And I'm your favorite host, Alex Sterner. Yeah, we did that in ascending order, so... Uh, I'm worst, Will's medium worst, and Stern is the best. Uh, this episode, our candle, uh, that's, uh, lightening our mood is called Relax Lavender's Linens. Uh, we'll be reviewing that. uh, From uh, Bath and Body Works. It's from Bath and Body Works. We'll be reviewing that throughout the episode, uh, getting you updated, because I'm sure that's mainly what you care about, is what this candle smells like and feels like. And tastes like this candle is just so much better than that other shitty one that I don't even remember the name of it. This one's just yes, this is so much more of a candle. I, I, I enjoy this one much more, it's a much stronger scent. First impressions, every one of the candle, it's a nice lavender. Uh, it's not too, it's like not a soapy lavender, it's just it's not a soapy. very like strong in your face smell. It's just, it's like a subtle lavender that just like you just enjoy it. it Honestly, just yeah, gives this you is, peace of mind. This candle's come the closest to just replicating what. The lavender actually smells like, and I would say the 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 actual ratio of warmth to candle size is astonishing. And my hands all the way out here, and I can feel the heat difference compared to with our past some past I won't name names, but our past candles that have just been atrocious. It's, it's, atrocious. It's not that warm, but maybe my hands are just better than yours. Yeah, I ripped off How a bunch of like on my fingers just for the heat that's generated, though. Poor people will. Poor people. Oh. Yeah, well, I didn't some, mean to take you to a dark some place, of us, I'm sorry. Some of us don't have electricity. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, well, we'll see you next now, week. <laughs> now we properly lighten the mood. We'll see you next week. <laughs> it's okay. If they're listening to us, they've got yeah. electricity. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, just That's some what you think. current events and news. Uh, Stern. Oh, boy. I mean, Alex. Alex. Good one for you. Hold on, let me... I was not prepared. <laughs> it's a good one, all right? <laughs> it's so good, I, I'll be able to find it, I hope. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> today, topping the news, we have a Colombian Canadian family attacked by a man with a baseball bat shouting about ISIS and terrorists. Thoughts? Was the man for or against ISIS? Yeah, that really changes well, the course of it. It looks like he's white, so I would say he's against <laughs> ISIS. But he's... Is this a hate crime? Yeah, and he said he's been arrested for attacking a Colombian family with a baseball bat, accusing them of belonging to ISIS. <laughs> so it's definitely a hate crime, even though... It's just a kind of like a, he's wrong. <laughs> like that's... I was in a local mall parking lot, too. The funny part of that about that is, is that... Not only did they he are get, investigating if it was a hate crime or not. Not only is he mad at the wrong group of people, like he's not even close nationality wise. <laughs> like he didn't even like it. It, it, it would have been very racist if he just saw an Arabic family and was like, "Ah, these guys are an ISIS." But it's even worse when he's like, "These people are just brown. They're just brown. They're also an ISIS." That's like they're speaking uh, Spanish. I mean, this. Yeah. <laughs> That's like when I told. They're you trying to throw me off. Adios mio and Allah Akbar, they're basically the same. <laughs> Stop speaking Middle Eastern. <laughs> That's like when I told you about the guy at the Chinese restaurant who was complaining about the picture of New York City they had that had the Twin Towers still standing oh. in it, and he was like, he was like, they're taunting us with Pearl Harbor, aren't they? It's like you have the wrong nationality and the wrong event. <laughs> Sir, get out. <laughs> that poor family. You know that family's going to be... So they, they moved to Canada because they thought, oh, Canada's nice. Everyone's super nice there. It's friendly. Nothing bad ever happens to Canada. And then they moved there. And some guys just like people. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I just want this story because I just want to learn more about it. But uh, the headline is just, no evidence of a serial killer in church... Wellesley, but there are opportunities to learn, police say. What? what is that supposed to mean? 
That couldn't have been a more vague title. I'm not, I'm not even sure I understand what that so, means. So, Toronto, I guess it's just Canadian theme for <laughs> this okay. episode. Welcome to Canada Week here on this <laughs> jet. Toronto police are apparently looking into a string of murders. And they're... So, apparently, the, the people dying are all members of some church. Or church community. And they think the serial killer is among them, but... Oh. There's no evidence, but there's opportunities to learn, whatever that means. I think that's what they say when they don't know anything, and they're trying to make it seem like they're not incompetent. <laughs> there's plenty to learn. We're just too dumb to find it. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll get back to you on that. Like, You might have a psychopath who kills for fun amongst you, but don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Don't worry about it. There's still plenty to learn. Everyone's <laughs> going to be dead in that church con- congregation except for one person. And gonna, like he's just gonna keep narrowing it, narrowing it down until he's the last one standing, and they're like, "Hmm, either this guy did it, or there's some more opportunities to be had." You have such dreamy eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been told that. That's the, a lot of the ladies say that's my best quality, and then the other half are like, "Well, you don't have any good qualities." <laughs> Funny. Moving on. <laughs> Next we have. Well, you're going to love this one. Sneaky Oklahoma dog rushed to vet after stealing and eating 21 pacifiers. What the fuck? Why would Will love that one? Because of his cat thing from the oh, last episode. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Sorry, so <laughs> Why is this the right Am I the only one that forgot the cats? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you and Will had some secret thing about like dogs and pacifiers. So uh, I, I thought he was just talking about pacifiers in general. I was like, what are you trying to say, sir? I'm sorry for just being so vague, like always. <laughs> No, but, uh, so yeah, so I guess, um, uh, a dog stole a bunch of pacifiers. I don't know why you have 21 pacifiers for a six-month-old baby, but... Yeah. Right. I mean, you lose, you, you, <laughs> over- <laughs> what you need, like... You know. lose your pacifier, but, like, 21 times? I mean, I'm sure you probably... I, I mean... I bet a child, I know a child would probably go through that many pacifiers, at least. Right. But, like, I don't know why you'd have all of them at once, unless you, like, got a bulk... Bulk uh, I guess it happened over, like, the course of five months. But even then, it's like, I mean, if you've bought, like, 21 within the span of five months, like, you would think something's up maybe a little... Maybe the child got bored too easy. Maybe it just wanted a different tip to suck the one. <laughs> that's inappropriate. <laughs> okay, that's where we draw the line. <laughs> this is a rated G. We just got done talking about ISIS. And now <laughs> this okay. is a G-rated podcast. This is America, goddammit. We have a younger. Uh, I, I've got some fan mail for later. We've got a young. We've got a young audience here. Judging by this letter, we just finished recording our first episode like twenty minutes ago. He he was he wrote it in very fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh, see what else is going on in the world here. Uh. Okay. Another one to lighten the mood. Illinois man convicted in sex assault of a 90-year-old care home patient. How old was the guy? 90. <laughs> Just give this guy a medal for being able to get his dick hard at 90. <laughs> well, no, Not like... condoning sexual assault, by the way. <laughs> That's very wrong. No, the 90-year-old man was assaulted. Oh, I thought he did the assaulting. No. Well, sexual assault is still not condoned here by Hush Chat by Will and I. Yeah, Stern. I didn't want to speak for Stern. I'm sorry. I'm good. <laughs> God. So uh, he like, had dementia too. That's just oh sad. Maybe he thought it was. Maybe he kept thinking the home nurse was his wife, and she was just playing along. No. You weren't there. <laughs> you don't know what happened, Stern. Old Pappy probably just thought it was, it was his old broad. Well, the sad thing is. He probably didn't even know what was going on, so. Well, no harm, no foul, then. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to get arrested for this. Yeah. <clears throat> Good luck getting sponsored. <laughs> Speaking of sponsored, uh, let's do a candle update <laughs> on Relax Lavender Linens. It's from very... Bath Body Works. I would say the, the melted wax color, it's a nice, the candle is a nice, like, light... Uh, lavender-ish color, and the the melted wax is a deep, beautiful purple. I like purple. 
That's all right. You, you <laughs> it's all right. I just I think it's very I'm very disimpressed overall with this candle. It's definitely a showstopper. It, it's definitely pulling its weight. I enjoy it. Right. I feel so cool. Well, you got any more exciting news? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so our next story. Protesters say Pornhub promotes sexual violence against women. What? Interesting. I mean, I don't see it. I don't, don't know about you guys. But... Well, I stopped using Pornhub after they uh, reformatted it because I kept getting <laughs> more pop-ups. And I kept getting that live Jasmine pop-up where it's just like a live webcam of a girl. And that was getting really annoying for everyone when I was listening without headphones. Yeah, I'm more of a... Uh... Slut load man myself. You would use slut load. I'm a more, I'm just a big fan of the the more underutilized sites like X Hamster and uh, I just like googling uh, hot girls with a Z into Google Images. <laughs> Sometimes I put HD in there. Just... You're telling me you don't just go into Google and just type in sex? <laughs> <laughs> I go in there and just type type hot sex and just. Go a few tabs in. I think it's a little bit too vague. You just need to put intercourse. That just reminded me of like some coitus. <laughs> <laughs> a great like bit from uh, Seth Meyers' Weekend Update on SNL, where like he was just mentioning a story about how I can't remember if it was Google, but they were going to restrict like if you were to look up porn, you had to be more specific in your porn searches. And he was like, and all porn enthusiasts just went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the problem here? <laughs> if anyone's looking for anything <laughs> vague, like if you type in any of those vague buzzwords, the chances are that person is just looking for a bunch of vague, broad, broad <laughs> things. But like, if you know what you want, you know what you want. You're not like, you're not searching like, uh, uh, I don't know, like old lady, old like ebony lady with midget and trying to like just see what you come up with like you're trying you're trying to find that specific thing somehow i got to write dykes i don't know i just got lost (laughs) 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 right (laughs) (laughs) all right for our next story i think we're going with a theme here teen charged in beating disabled man and broadcasting it on facebook live gets probation after getting arrested. Only probation. <laughs> the live stream of the beating. <laughs> that's that's got to be premeditated. Or was it like a world star thing where they were like recording Even, it as it happened and just kind of... He pled like, guilty to a hate crime. He got probation? And he was just sentenced to four years probation. Did he, was it plea bargaining or what? No, it just says that's what the sentence was. The judge also really hated the guy that he, <laughs> he beat up. Dang, that's weird. I don't understand. What state was it in? What did it say? Um, it's talking about Chicago, so. so oh, it makes Illinois. sense. Illinois. Chicago is not the safest town in the world. <laughs> I wonder if this is connected to the uh, that other story because it said the man that beat up the 90-year-old was also an Illinois man. Gotta watch out for the <laughs> Illinoisers. <laughs> this week, this week on Hush Chat, Canada ISIS, <laughs> Illinois gone wrong, and that's it. Protect your old loved ones. <laughs> call, call They're your, out to get them. <laughs> call your grandfather, please. See how your grandparents are. Hide your kids, the, hide your wife. <laughs> if they're in the home, go visit them. Make sure nobody's coming out with a baseball bat yeah. yelling about how they're a terrorist or something. <laughs> Uh, every day in Canada. Well, is it time to move on to uh, Word on the Street? Or do you have any more news stories, Stern? We I'm have time. If you're through, Stern. I don't have anywhere I, to be. These <laughs> are just... We can also go back to normal news after Word on the Street if you like either way. Word on the Street! New uh, these, these are uh, super depressing, so we can go oh. to Word on the Street. <laughs> okay. I just don't want to continue reading about old men getting the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> God. All right. Uh, just a recap for those who weren't here for the last episode, or for those who can't quite remember the theme here, there's going to be three headliners. Uh, one of them is a real headline. The other two are ones I made up uh, in our 
guests here are going to try to... Well, I guess you're not guests. You're co-hosts. Co-hosts We've gonna, been demoted <laughs> already. <laughs> co-hosts are going to try to guess which one's the real one. Well, we'll talk about them. them. All right. So first headline. Man's head cemented in microwave. Number two. New Taiwanese bridge made entirely of spider silk is an engineering marvel. That's real. No, that's not real. That's an Onion article. I think that's an Onion article. Number three, a woman sues McDonald's for allegedly causing vitamin deficiencies to develop. That one sounds real. That sounds totally real. Real. The first, I, the cementing in the microwave. I, <laughs> like why? Is he? <laughs> I just. That's I just, real. I that's happen. real. Stern. Uh, Will's reaction. I could tell by Will's reaction. That's the real story. That's the real I story. Mean, if this head was in the microwave. It would probably like explode, not get cemented. And... Well, what if you put his head in cement beforehand, <laughs> and the what cement if... just hardened quickly? Can, I I don't know the logistics behind cement being microwave, but what's I assume it doesn't it. work out. Too We're gonna pause and test this, <laughs> and come back. We need to go find. Is it okay to microwave this? Did either of you ever watch that really old YouTube series? It was like a several hundred long episode series of. Is it okay oh, to microwave too much. This? They, they would just put random shit in the microwave. They had, like, a testing room with tinfoil on the I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, did they do one where they, like, microwave ping pong balls and they just exploded? Sure they did. They microwaved yeah. everything. <laughs> All right. A microwave. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start reading the article and it'll tell itself. A YouTuber out of the UK feared for his life after a prank went horribly wrong. Jay Swingler, 22, of the TGF Bro YouTube channel, placed a plastic <laughs> bag over his head held a tube to his mouth to breathe in, and then stuck his head into a microwave God filled with I called polycilla. It. No way. A plaster on Wednesday. I a called friend, it. A friend then used a hair dryer to harden the mixture. <laughs> About ten minutes of blow drying stiffened the cement nearly solid. My boy should not be alive. That's... <laughs> Get you a friend who's a good enough friend to blow dry cement so... on your head. So Did there you was a friend who apparently can't be killed. That's what you yeah. mean. <laughs> there was a there was a third friend there who apparently just like managed to not be in this article. Lucky him. I, I watched the video. Um, they tried. Here's the guy filming. <laughs> <laughs> they Great tried, job, bro. They I tried for up. ninety minutes to get him out of this microwave before they called the fire Seriously, department. Seriously, how is he still alive? How much? What What are they doing during the ninety minutes? Like. After like four minutes, I would have been like, "Well, he's stuck. We gotta call someone." Not an hour and a half later, they're like, huh. "Let me like see. A, he might be dead in there." Be like, let me try to pull up a picture of someone. this guy. Maybe he might be in there. I'm gonna try to pull up a picture of this you, guy. Um, um, what was that old thing people, everyone would text in high school, like that you would text? Construction? No, <laughs> they're like that dumb dude, like pre-calc. <laughs> okay. Um... No, it was like you text him and he had like an answer and everything. And are are either of you? <laughs> <laughs> I forget it. Are either of you familiar with the Evil Within, at all? Is that a game? It is that horror game that came out? By horror? The I don't. Oh, like yeah. Horror. I don't like horror. horror. I played horror. it for a little bit and okay, kind of beat it. I guess. Do you, do you remember the, the the big scary guy with the safe head? By you any mean, chance? Diet pyramid head? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. For those of you listening, if straight you out of my nightmares. See, um, just look up YouTuber cement microwave in Google Images, and you'll see what we're referring to. <laughs> it just it looks terrifying. I'm um, just telling you, if I saw that dude walking up down the street when it's like foggy and at night, I'd shit myself. The worst Minecraft cosplay I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, also, <laughs> you think that just made me think of the. Uh, Porn uh, users having to narrow their searches and be more specific, like <laughs> YouTuber cement microwave, <laughs> penis stuck in microwave? Question mark. <laughs> Wrong head, damn it. <laughs> Part of my kink is Are knowing that I'll get amateur? cancer for, after twenty years of microwaving this. So, while we're uh, while we're on the topic of the hypotheticals, though, how real is it that someone would probably sue McDonald's for causing vitamin deficiency? Pretty real. There are a lot of people who are dumb. Uh, I mean, I've heard about a woman that sued them just because she spilled their coffee in her lap. And well, they're, they're, have you ever seen? I've seen pictures of her burns. They're yeah, actually they're, really they're gross. pretty serious burns. Like <laughs> either way, I don't think it's McDonald's fault necessarily. But like those burns are real bad. Like, well, it's, it's not like there were like, mistakes. They, of many they sides. reached out. <laughs> they reached out the window and like. Here you go, bitch, and then <laughs> pour it right in her lap. Have fun, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> pour it. 
you're in for a trip. All right, let me go ahead and get the next one ready. We here at Hush Chat fully support women. And McDonald's. We're on both sides. And now, coffee. Fuck, fuck McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Is, everyone likes to shit on McDonald's, but I tell you, I'd eat at McDonald's every day of the week over like Burger King, Arby's, well, Wendy's. You're probably gonna get cancer and die there. Well, you, you know, if something else doesn't get me that I'm fine with McDonald's getting me. I'm telling you, man, Wendy's overrated. Arby's. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I said it. The most solid chicken selection of the three fast food uh, like uh, fair. Fair. That's fair. That's true. I agree. But everything else they just lack. Baked potato. Their fries are the best. Wendy's? Yeah. What the fuck? Are you cheating? I've never heard anyone <laughs> say that. I've never heard anyone utter those words before. All right. Here, oh. I would I, rather I, get fries from Taco Bell. They don't even make fries. My I God. Know. I don't even know how to respond to you <laughs> right now. My God. I don't want to. I would never just want to eat at a place that. Uh, Serves baked potato as one of their side options for fast food. Like, come on, how many people are getting that baked potato? People baked potato. Their, I I work at a place that has baked potato soup and no actual baked potatoes, and we get people that come in and ask for actual baked potatoes. Like, I thought you had it on the menu. I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, just go fry up a potato. Real quick. <laughs> that was a good customer impression. I would have thought you wanted that. It's my impression for everyone. My impression for everyone is, oh, it's this voice. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, God, why? You see, from my perspective. That is a good catch-all for your roommate and sister. Yeah. What are the, why don't they have baked potatoes here? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I've just basically turned into a stand from that episode of South Park where everyone's just spewing shit. And <laughs> that's just my life now. All right, so our next three headlines we got here. Man swallows lithium battery. Autopsy shows unexpected side effects. And a twist no one saw coming. (laughs) Uh, Privately owned Blockbuster says net neutrality will put them back in business. (laughs) Blockbuster? That sounds real. (laughs) And woman admits to cheating on her husband with ghosts. I think I was literally just reading about that. That one sounds real enough. See, that one's treading the line of, like, people are that dumb. And also, <laughs> I can picture Will thinking that up, too. So I'm just trying to think of which... Huh. I'm pretty sure it's the go- I just... I want that to be real because... If all these were real, I'd believe them. You know they have a TV show out in, like, three months of that. Right. Oh, like, yeah. This is, like, the new Ghost Hunters, but really it's just a... It's like Wife Swap, but with one family is a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> just called Haunted by My Past Mistakes. <laughs> All right, which one? Why am I shouting so is much? Is the real one? You're just angry. What? I'm just you're getting a character excited. for the burning question later. <laughs> you're just excited. You're All pa- right. It's nice to be passionate. Okay, so a woman claims that she's had sex with twenty ghosts and prefers them to men. <laughs> are they? Wait, can you are say they that one more time or? again? She's because this story sex, just got a lot more interesting. She's had sex with twenty ghosts and prefers them to men. How do you feel? How, how, like, how does, I guess she's a woman, so she wouldn't know, but, like, inserting yourself into a ghost, how do you know you're in? All right, yeah, here's, here's how. I guess that's half the excitement. <laughs> here's what she's quoted saying. You don't right. know if you pulled out or not, you don't know. The, that's the, it's the, um, that's just the knowing that you could be coming inside them. They don't even know. You, you won't find out until a little, uh, <laughs> Slimer pops out yeah. nine months later. She actually goes on to say later in the article she's trying to get pregnant with a ghost child. <laughs> what kind of do you think they get she scarred? believes she believes like she genuinely thinks that there have been many women who have um, gone and uh, have become pregnant with ghost children but none of them have properly um, delivered based off of what <laughs> the fact there's been no ghost children that's the only logical explanation there are no ghost so children like which means all, there are ghost children sounds like all those ghosts are just uh, shooting blanks <laughs> I, I hate do. myself for that one. <laughs> they must just not be fertile. I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, I could see not them. enough science behind ghost semen. If I had to pick a kink, I could I could get behind ghost loving. <laughs> I mean, I'd take it. I mean, like, it's not the weirdest one. Like, it's better than, like, wanting to have sex with a dog. I'll try anything once. <laughs> <laughs> 
right, so they've quoted her when they asked her if they if she could describe the uh, interaction, and she was quoted saying, "It started as an energy that became physical. There was pressure on my thighs and breath on my neck. I just always felt safe. I had sex with the ghost." <laughs> Stop, man! I could only get so hard. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> It's difficult to explain. <laughs> there was a weight and a weightlessness. Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm ready to do this. <laughs> I'd like to excuse myself. This is not my. We're first gonna we're gonna need to pause for a second and uh, <laughs> line up and fuck in one direction. This is not my first interaction with Ghost Erotica, but it might be my favorite one. <laughs> Also, the husband came home one day and saw a shadowy figure in their bedroom. Oh, he actually saw it. (laughs) So that's where it gets kind of And was he fine with it? Is this guy getting cucked by the ghost? He's pissed. He's pissed. He's he's royally pissed. He he saw a shadowy figure like going out the window or door or like just... Like going to town. Oh, actually. Oh, okay. He claims he saw a shadowy figure, which I'm... he's, I'm He's obviously... He's got the... He, he's obviously more mentally stable than his wife at this point, because he just says he saw something. This woman says she's had sexual relations with 20 ghosts. I don't think we can rule out the fact that they both might be crazy. Oh, I'm not saying he's not. Folks, I was uh, joking about getting some ghost dick earlier, but this sounds like it might be real, and uh, I'm going to need to go on a retreat for a little bit. I don't want <laughs> Apparently, she's not the first person to have claimed that uh, ghost sex is real. There were a few celebrities that they named in this... Uh, in this article. Oh, they say it it's true. Let me see. There's going to uh, be a strong correlation with these ghost sex celebrities <laughs> and all the ones who have been busted for go. sexual perversion for the last few uh, months. Like. Singers Bobby Brown and oh. Kesha also say they've had supernatural sex sessions. Kesha? Okay, Kesha, I'll get to Kesha in a moment because I like Kesha. Bobby <laughs> Brown, Bobby Brown has a known history of uh, a lot of drugs, but specifically cocaine. I'm sure one night Bobby Brown was high and was like, "Oh, I'm fucking a ghost." And they were like, "Okay." I had a customer okay, literally talk to me about, about Bobby Brown today. It was right after I read that article too, and I forgot that that's where I recognized the name. I was like, "Why does Bobby Brown sound so familiar right now?" He's got a few good songs. My prerogative's a good song. So is every little step I take. He's every all right. Step uh, I take. He's aight. He's aight. Aight. I don't feel any kind of way. I mean. You know what I do feel any kind of way about? Relax, Lavender Linen <laughs> Candle by Bath and Body Works. Um, mm, nope. Save some. <laughs> <laughs> so this Save article, some for the rest of us, man. <laughs> I started too much. <laughs> this article was a complete joke about the blockbuster, but I wanted to throw it in there as a, as a topic. How legitimate do you think it would be that, maybe not blockbuster, but used movie stores in general... Might get a little bit more traction once net neutrality hits, unless people are interested in streaming services like Netflix. I plan on going straight to family video right when uh, net neutrality is banished. I'm I'm wondering if DVDs will suddenly, well, I guess Blu ray. I wonder if Blu ray would suddenly get a little bit more traction again. I mean, there's Uh, still probably a fair amount of people that buy Blu rays, right? I mean, like, I know it's not the bulk, but. It's usually just the older generation who just doesn't trust the internet, though. I think everyone's just going to pick up a good book again. Okay, oh. let's not take it too far. <laughs> All right, <sir>. Stern. <laughs> this is uh, Stern's last episode of Hush Chat. <laughs> he had a good run. It's been swell, fellas, but... Fuck all of you! All right, uh, are you guys ready for a, a nice fan mail letter? Oh, I got in from a... Uh, Lay on me, fan, from an anonymous uh, source. This is my first time reading this, so... We'll just name and address withheld. Um, well, I'm, not, I'm, well, I'm just going to read the name. Uh, this is fan mail from uh, listener Elizabeth Schwartz, uh, 14 years old, a young viewer apparently. Uh, she says, Hi, I'm a fan of your show. Stern is my favorite host. I like the way he, I like the way he says things angrily. He sounds like he's got a sad outlook on life. Like me. My mom says I'm not old enough to listen to you guys, but I still do anyway. Oh, by the way, um, the mailing address says my name is Elizabeth, but I'm actually a boy. I go by Eli. Please call me Eli on the show, as I'm very embarrassed by the name. If it's a family name, my grandfather, uh, Elizabeth, was dying, and his last wish was that I carried on his namesake. If any of my friends hear that my real name is Elizabeth, they they all listen to the show, by the way, as well. Uh, Just please... (laughs) 
Please don't bring up that my name is Elizabeth. Uh, just call me Eli. Eli is a cool name. Uh, if anyone found out that my name was Elizabeth, I would get bullied into oblivion and I might uh, take my life into my own hands if anyone found out. Anyways, uh, your number two fan, Eli. Well, thanks for the letter, Eli. Who's the number one? Eli, I think you made a couple of... A bit of a lack of oversight there, and <laughs> I think, expecting this thing to go through. I think the only safe thing to say about this is this is 100% an e a blunder on Eli's part. <laughs> yeah, Eli, you fucked up. Eli, there were mistakes on many sides. <laughs> not ours. <laughs> yeah, not, just, not ours. We're just talking Eli. about uh, Eli. And, just uh, Eli. What a dumb fucking kid. Eli's friends. What a like... dumbass. Oh, Why are his friends even friends with them? They... <laughs> They need to know this. To so to segue away from uh, fan mail, since uh, we're not getting a lot of fan mail. Just disclaimer: we will not actually talk shit about you if you write fan mail to the to the yeah. podcast. Just fuck Eli. Um, I'll so, probably just you know hit you up in the middle and be like, "So you up?" <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna segue. Please in. love me. <laughs> we're gonna uh, segue into. Our uh, next segment called uh, Pitch Perfect, which is a segment where I pitch a product. I have two minutes to pitch a product to the other two hosts and try to convince them by the end of the two minutes that this is something they need. <coughs> Last week, if you remember... Um, the Corfolio Ninja. Yes, there was a flip-up ninja shirt that says, uh, look at my, don't ask about my ninja disguise. Then you flip up your shirt, and it's a ninja disguise uh, displaying your belly. Um that's the most intimidating part. Is the the happy trail of doom. All the hosts' the most basic of foundations and ninja principles. <laughs> all the hosts are now wearing one for this episode. We all bought one, um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Truffle shuffle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm here to talk to you guys about. I'm just going full chunk. All right, you ready? You got two minutes. Hey, sprinkles. Sprinkles here. Oh God, this guy. <laughs> Do you wow. got a joke for us yet? Oh, yeah, I, I got a joke. Okay, so Brian's going to tell us a joke before we start the pitch product. Okay, so I was um, <laughs> uh, on a, I was in an Uber a little while ago, and uh, I heard this joke from the guy who was driving the Uber, told me, so, um, so I'm going to be him. Uh, so, <laughs> the joke goes, he starts, he says, uh, so a moth, a moth walks into a podiatrist's office. Um, and the moth says, Doc, life is just real rough lately. Um, I've been having a hard time with a lot of things. Um, I just want to talk. And the podiatrist says, Okay, moth, um, you can talk about it for a little bit if you want. And the moth says, Doc, every day when I wake up, it's just harder and harder to just get up out of bed. It's really rough. I wake up and I see the woman next to me, this old woman that's laying next to me in bed, and I don't recognize her anymore, Doc. I know she's my wife. I don't recognize her. She's grown old. I, I don't even know if I love her anymore. I don't. The podiatrist says, that's, that's rough. That's rough, man. Uh, the moth continues, and my, my daughter... My daughter, Alex, Alexandria, I, uh, I don't love her, too. She, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I, I just can't. And my, just, I, I look in the mirror, Doc, and I see, I see a coward. I see a coward who every night can't even finish his own life can't even end his own life doc that's how big of a coward and he says my son my son gregario i don't love him either doc i look at him and i just see the same coward that i see every time i look in the mirror in the podiatrist he says Holy shit man <laughs> sounds like you have some stuff going on right now but you know that I'm a podiatrist. I'm a I'm a foot doctor. Uh, it sounds like you need to see a uh, psychiatrist. And the moth says, "Yeah, yeah." Um, 
the and then the Padaja says, So, uh, why don't you come here then? And Ma said, Oh, the, the light was on, so I just came in. <laughs> <laughs> That was jokes, folks. We that was one of those jokes that I vaguely remember hearing before, but I couldn't for the life of me remember the punchline. <laughs> That's one of my favorite jokes. That's a joke that Norm MacDonald <laughs> said one time. I really like Norm. <laughs> I'm glad you guys said He doesn't even remember. I think I'm going to go home and cry now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. Oh, okay. All right. back on track. Back to our uh, bitch perfect segment. I got two minutes when you're ready. <laughs> All right. Just slide right into that. <laughs> don't don't say the product name. Just like last time, I am going in blind. I have not seen what you're. I'm, yeah, I'm not looking this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, pardon the mic while David is scoot this a little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, you go ahead and start. All right, three, two, one. You're live. Who here likes dessert? I like fat, dessert. so yes. I'm your choice sweets. Likes ice cream. Yeah, Still sure. fat, so is it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is chocolate one of your favorite flavors of ice cream? I'm a vanilla guy. I well, am as well. You can, well, it's, I, I enjoy chocolate, but I prefer vanilla. You know what the best part about ice cream is? It's in a lot of different flavors. Indeed. So all the flavors you like and don't like are all covered. Um, specifically, uh, there's one type of style of ice cream that I think lends itself w- uh, well to uh, sports fans and to mall goers and to um, hipster ice cream fans who like to enjoy ice cream but uh, really just want to take a little bit of the pleasure out of it. Sounds right at my for a little Sounds like Dippin' Dots. My friend, my friend, my friend. <laughs> so you're familiar with Dippin' Dots, are you? <laughs> Let me tell you, Div and Dots is at the forefront of the ice cream world. You got one minute. Some people like creamy, nice, soft spoonfuls of ice cream, and some people like hard pebbles of flavor. <laughs> now, let me tell you, not everyone is a Dippin' Dots fan. Not everyone likes that you can get Dippin' Dots in any baseball game in a small plastic hat that was made in a foreign, <laughs> probably in some uh, factory in Singapore. But those people only eat Dippin' Dots. In single serving serving quantities. What if I, I told you there was a way to eat seconds. thirty servings <laughs> of Dippin' Dots all at once? <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. This is an outrageous and amazing deal. How much could this cost? A thousand dollars? Two thousand dollars? Eight million dollars? No, not eight million dollars. That's ridiculous. Fifty dollars is all you have to pay for one Tens, bulk uh, bag of chocolate Dippin' Dots ice cream. Now let me close with this sentence. Who says it's dumb to eat Dippin' Dots? <laughs> well, I can tell you, Clay, that I'm more of a itty bits fan myself. <laughs> oh, those itty, they have itty bits at the mall. And they're bad. I should be selling them at a candy store. You, how many servings you say? 30. 30. 30 for $50. And it just comes in a big bag. <laughs> I, I haven't bag. enjoyed Dippin' Dots since I was like... A wee lad. Now, think about it. Is the reason you aren't enjoying it is because you don't have enough. Well, that's what I was getting into. <laughs> like, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm just not. How much is 30 servings? Like, um, with your hands. Is it, like, yay big? <laughs> I mean, is there, like, a, like an actual, like, ounces or something? Or? A single serving, I believe, is about a cup. Okay. So, 30 cups. See, it's got to be at least I, 100 I always, pounds. I always enjoyed Dippin' Dots. My only complaint was no matter where you could go to get them, they were always outrageously overpriced. But if you can get 30 servings for 50, that's not too bad for your That's mileage. why you go 80 pounds. <laughs> Again, this is Stern's last episode <laughs> of this chat. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I'll get 80 of them. I mean, it just it feels like I like Dippin' Dots, but I don't like having not enough Dippin' Dots. Every time I've eaten Dippin' Dots, I feel like I would just like a trash bag full. I feel like amount. it'd be very, very easy to get carried away with Dippin' Dots. That's why you only get 30 like servings. You're just like, they're so small, <laughs> these can't possibly be fattening. What a lot of people don't know about <laughs> Dippin' Dots is that they're actually zero calories. So you can eat as much Dippin' Dots as you want with no repercussions. I hear they fix that in the future. Uh, Who's to say? 
Well, I'm sold. <laughs> okay, who here enjoys when the Dippin' Dots get a little bit melted and they like start to stick together? Oh, that's like normal ice cream? That's no, like... no, not not exactly like normal ice cream. It's still like <laughs> fuck that chunky. Shit. It would it would never melt like real ice cream because it's not real ice cream. <laughs> real it's still ice cream like a chunky consistency. Like some of the pebbles are sticking together. It like forms little conglomerates. That's when the plastic begins to weirdly melt and solidify at the same time. You realize you're not eating a product made from dairy. <laughs> it's like when you <laughs> try to melt shredded cheese when the, the wax dries. <laughs> Did you know that shredded cheese is coated in wax so it doesn't stick? Yeah, it's like that then. When you're melting shredded cheese, it just like sort of comes together, but not really. Well, this is the best part. If you like That's that, disgusting. when you get a bulk bag of Dippin' Dots, it's going to like... You're not. Uh, I'm. Uh, no one's gonna eat this in bunches. You're just gonna eat a lot of dipping dots at once, and it's going to start to melt. Which means you're just going to get a big melty block of dipping dots near the bottom of your bulk bag. Which, it'll be like drinking a crunchy yeah, shake. It'll sound like it's your favorite. It sounds. It sounds like it'll just be your favorite part of dipping dots, but amplified by thirty. <laughs> I'm sold. Well, this is America, so more is better. Exactly. And shipping is. F- only ten dollars. Oh, wow! I shouldn't whoa, have said that. Whoa. I should have let that. Ooh. That really so. Yikes! Oh, but what if I told you you get a free Dippin' Dots hat with every Dippin' Dots order? Oh fuck! I'm, <laughs> my hat's back in the rain. Are, are we talking like a real hat, or are we talking one of those plastic baseball hats? Uh, it's you get to it's any type of actual hat you want, but styled as a plastic hat. Is it a flat bill? It can be. <laughs> well, shit. Hot there. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just want to eat ice cream. And Me too. I can't feel lonely anymore. Dots. I can go for some Dippin' Dots. Dude, I can go for some Dippin' Dots too. I can go for any ice cream. Or just uh, like a nice milkshake. If you can excuse me for a moment, I guess when I get back, Stern, you can start your burning question. All right, gentlemen, this is the moment we prepared for. What's this? Our acapella career begins now. <laughs> All right, I'll be the bass. Boom, boom. Oh wait, hold on! I didn't realize we we're gonna do that. I'll switch to Wee Moe. Wee Moe, Wee Moe, Wee Moe, Wee Moe. I don't want to get sued. I'll do my stern impression then. I'll do the Wee Moe in the jungle, the mighty jungle. The lion. God, he nailed it. So. uh... I guess I really hate being around you guys without Will. <laughs> well, <laughs> Will's the glue that holds all this together. Who knew? Yeah. I'm only here because Will's in the podcast. Did you guys go to Kido Bar earlier? Yeah. yeah. Nice, how was that? Oh, it was great. Uh, for the third time this week, it was even better than the last two. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I haven't been to Kido Bar in a hot minute, but I'm going to have to do that sometime this week. Should you should. Me? Please go give them your money. Stern told them to just make him cry. They gave him like the fattest burrito ever, then they had to double wrap it. They have like half of that story is true, and it's not the fat burrito. <laughs> <laughs> they always used to double wrap my burritos when I would ask. But they, they, switched... they always double wrap mine because they just Stern just likes to. I think they just them. intentionally like you know poke it and just rip it and like oh ripped oh. again. I've switched over to just getting the burrito bowls with a, with a tortilla because I'm fat. <laughs> um, but they also they always do like the queso and like the guac is free, and then like they have like the fajita veggies, but they're just already diced up, which is great because I'm not getting meat. I hope the one day walk in there. I because I need to say I. I hope the one day be like when they ask me what meat I want, I just be like all of it, just all yeah. the meat. Uh, I, I just to... want to know what that tastes like of a meat pocket. Mm, just yeah. oh, and God, then, my mouth is literally watering. And just you've, thinking got, about that right <laughs> you've got the textures, the, the different textures because you've got like the diced chicken, the diced steak, and then like the shredded pork. Oh. Just a little bit of... Well, we're a food podcast now. <laughs> Orgasm in every okay bite. <laughs> we're a Qdoba podcast specifically. I remember I used to go... Well, to now that Will's back, I think I'm going to go uh, fuck a burrito real quick. <laughs> Dude, I could fuck a burrito right now. I'm still really hungry. I think we could all fuck a burrito right Do we just now. want to go back to Qdoba? <laughs> <We're gonna laughs> like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> they might close that Literally like... never a bad time to go to Qdoba. Well, that's... No, I was going to counter that, but that's true. <laughs> I'm never wrong. That's just common knowledge. Whoop Stern, are you ready for your burning questions to close out the show? Boy, am I ever. What's eating Alex Stern today? I'm. I'm gonna, <laughs> that, was good. that was a good reference. I'm going to be <laughs> real with you guys. This really pisses me off. This just gets me all hot blooded. It's all hot and heavy. 
So, oh, as you may not know, hot and hard. After a hard day of work, I like to go home and enjoy just eight straight hours of television. <laughs> no breaks, nothing. <laughs> just constant television. Okay. And there is nothing that pisses me off more than the dumb TV tropes that they put in every single show. Oh, I'm talking elaborate. like like what, Stern? Yeah, like what? So. <laughs> When, like, ensemble shows, when characters get separated and have pointless bullshit stories for, like, several episodes. When somebody gets amnesia and doesn't remember anything and they spend some time trying to, like, fill in, like, the, the runtime. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not filling the gaps because that would be, you know, meaningful. Um, <laughs> and when they do, like, pointless flashbacks that don't mean anything and just waste time and they're just like, this is not relevant to the story at all. You know what I mean. Like, all those things that TV do, like the dumb love triangles and everything. All the stuff you hate about TV. I hate it, too. Like all the women on screen? Yes. <laughs> Are you basically referring to TV cliches? Yes, okay. TV cliches. Now, um, my favorite TV show doesn't have this stuff. You're wrong. Well, what's your favorite TV show? It's a little uh, TV program called Fish Center. Anyway... <laughs> they need to fucking die. I want my TV to make risky decisions and invade my comfort zone aggressively. <laughs> I don't need to see fucking Jim and Jane just like have some kind of feud over something that could be easily explained in 10 seconds and then like spend the next three episodes not talking to each other because they're so pissed off. <laughs> that does happen like every rom-com sitcom type it's style true. it's it's it made me believe now too. it's worse than it movies. does it's much worse than movies it made me believe now that i think all tv would be better if we just shorten the time because i think they just feel the need to fill in like a whole year's worth of episodes and that's dumb so like I mean, if, if you can that's 15 minute episodes so what you're saying five no i mean episodes? like cut down to like 13 episode seasons instead oh, of like 22 okay. because yeah, what about a lot of the shows nowadays that are doing, like, 10-episode seasons? Yeah, like on Netflix like, and Hulu and Amazon. Well, even, like, the Netflix shows, yeah. they still have, like, those dumb episodes that just, like, you could cut it out and, like... Narcos has not had a bad episode! Yeah. Well, Stern. We'll see. Now, the, uh, if you're looking for a TV show that doesn't have any of these tropes, there's another one. It's a, it's for uh, intellectuals, I would say. Um... It's oh, really? Just, it's mm -hmm. a little indie show. Are you talking about? On a comedy, on a Adult Swim, it's called uh, Rick and Morty. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, we're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> that's, an, that's next week. And another another trope I hate is when characters do all the tech babble bullshit, and then they're like, stay it in English, please. Just, no, just stay say it in simply. in English, god damn it. You know these people aren't going to understand what the fuck you're saying. Just say it normally, and, you know, maybe the rest of us won't feel just as dumb either. <laughs> In Lord's code, they do that in. Oh, I've seen that that Pro ZD video where he's like, in French. In conclusion, I literally would prefer to rub sandpaper on my dick to pass the time than watch these pointless filler episodes on TV. Do you have any TV shows that you think do uh, don't uh, aren't uh, victims of this uh, TV trope? Futurama, and if you disagree, I will literally throw hands. I disagree. <laughs> Whose hands are you throwing? Do you just have a bucket of hands behind you? I'll say it's dirt. Bender is an overrated character. Clay, can I see you out back for a second? <laughs> yeah. I would say Arrested Development does a pretty good job of this. They don't have did you even see season four? I did, yeah. It's probably my favorite season. What? That's like the... <laughs> what? I like, season, I like season four. I don't think it's I'm the best. I'm going to need you to leave the room now. It's it's a very good season. I don't think there's a whole lot of like filler or cliches. I think you're there. sending our viewers or our listeners the wrong message here. I think all season four is kind of filler, just because like they just have like single. So it's like they're only able to like make season or episodes with just like one featuring one character at a time. They had to like do a lot more in depth stuff with that one character instead of being able to like bounce back and forth between the whole ensemble. But does that make it filler? If it's all the same sort of level of content, does that make it all filler, or does that make none of it? I think that makes all of it filler. It's all filler. It didn't feel They were all filler. separated for like the whole season. That is exactly what I'm describing. It's an ensemble show. They're not together, which was arguably the strongest point that that show had. 
Well, it's sort of just the strong moments that I thought happened were like on like the first like five or six episodes where they would go and it was like after the boat where they're all in like the um, the county jail or whatever. And they're like in that room and then each episode there's like someone different in the same scene and like what they're doing. So like, um, uh, fuck, what's his name? God, this is really Joe. Cool. No, Tobias. Joe. No, Tobias. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're like, um, Tobias is doing his thing and him and Lindsay like break up and he's like, he's Spoilers, like, by the way. <laughs> it's been out for like two years. And, uh, and Tobias is like, uh. I'm not gay. Do, do people think I'm gay? And he says something. And then, like, in Job's episode, um, Tobias and Job are, like, right next to each other. And it's like, wow, so we're all ties together. I know it's not the same as, uh, like, season one, two, and three. But I do find it entertaining. Also, it has some great, really funny moments. And the characters that they added in season four, I thought were pretty strong for the most part. Well, I'm right, right, and that's that. Well, okay, Stern. This is Stern's burning question. I guess he does get the final say. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I say we close our podcast with our final review of Bath and Body Works Relax Lavender Linens. Um, Everyone get their final uh, out of 10 score. It has soothed the raging beast inside me. <laughs> I am going to give it a 7. The only reason it doesn't rate higher is because I got a little nose blind to it by the end, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not doing a good job. I'll give it I'll give it a six, which is good in my book. Just it could be better. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a polygon it doesn't, six? It doesn't make <laughs> polygon six. <laughs> it doesn't make a strong enough statement to really make itself stand out, but it's a solid game. I am gonna give this a seven point two. I would use it again. I'd probably give it like a strong seven. I'd use it if I was light seven. <laughs> not entertaining company for the night. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, on that, right, note. Well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and blow out the candle. Thank you for uh, listening to episode two of Hush Chat.